Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 1st of 2021. Well, it is titled Pluto in enhanced color. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken back in 2015 when the New Horizons spacecraft flew by Pluto to give us the only up close look we have had at this dwarf planet. Now Pluto as we see it here is very interesting in colors and textures and terrains and was quite surprising to astronomers when we got the first images of it back as they expected maybe something a little more dead out in the depths of the solar system. So Pluto has been much more active recently than we would normally think. Now, how do we tell how active a, pla a planet or a dwarf planet or any other object is? Well, we look at the number of craters. The more craters you see in a region, then the older that is, the longer it has been exposed to space. When you see nice smooth areas like the smooth area here towards the central and down towards the lower right of the image, it means that it has been resurfaced relatively recently, maybe within millions or tens of millions of years. And that would wipe out all of the old craters. Now on Earth, we think of resurfacing as being volcanic activity. And that is molten rock that flows up and creates new crust. Well, at the distances of Pluto, it's far too cold for rock to be molten. So the temperatures are too little. But you can have ice behaving much as rock does in in the inner part of the solar system. So what we're seeing here is all ice. And in fact, a lot of water ice as well. And when it could be heated up by some mechanism that we don't know for sure, uh, then it could flow out through the top and then wipe out craters just as lava could here on Earth. So we're still again trying to understand the details of this and what the reasons are for all the different colors of the surface. We have some darker areas and lighter areas lighter maybe more recent ice flows. But some of the heavily cratered regions are light and some are dark. So it's a good question as to why those are the case. We do see lots of craters on the uh, on Pluto as well. So there are evidence is evidence that there were some very old areas. But we also see a lot of cracks going through the region again, like tectonic cracks on Earth, signs of some kind of geological activity going on, on Pluto, or at least that had gone on on Pluto, at some point in the past. So we continue to study those uh, images sent back by New Horizons back in 2015. Although New Horizons is still out exploring the Kuiper belt, it is now it is heading out, we can still use that data that was collected to be able to better understand Pluto. So that was our picture of the day for August the 1st of 2021. It was titled Pluto in enhanced color. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be deep galaxy sounds. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.